Hi guys, Mr. New Mobile here. Apple iPhone 13 release date, price and specs. Please subscribe followed by the bell you can also keep up on Facebook, Twitter by clicking the links in the description. A new iPhone probably the iPhone 13, but maybe the iPhone 12 S is coming in 2021. Even if you're only just wrapping your head around the iPhone 12 family, and we've already seen a variety of juicy leaks and rumors land, Apple's new iPhones for 2021 are likely to launch toward the end of the year, but we're hearing news from a variety of sources about what to expect on the next-gen iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone... What's the overall word right now we've heard from all different types of sources not to expect any humongous upgrades, as rumors point to the company focusing on refining the design, improving the internals, and perhaps even bringing in far more powerful cameras, all of this is speculation at the moment, and may be subject to change when Apple is ready to release. It's next handset, when can you expect to be able to buy a next-gen iPhone? We expect the iPhone 13 release date to be set for September 2021, but that may be subject to change given the COVID-19 pandemic. Apple has consistently introduced its flagship phones at an event near the start of September and released the phones 10 days later, all that changed in 2020. Due to the pandemic and the phones were delayed beyond their usual window the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro was pushed back to October, and the other two devices the iPhone 12 mini and iPhone 12 Pro Max were released in November, reportedly due to a lack of parts for the manufacturing process, if we were betting on a date, we'd expect Apple to move its iPhone 13 release date back to September 2021, and indeed at least one well-respected Apple analyst agrees with us, little is known about the price of the iPhone 13 but we'd expect it to be a similar level to the iPhone 12 family. Those handsets cost more than the 2019 phones, the iPhone 11 series, but that's because of the addition of 5G and a few other technical elements. We'll be sure to include more 2021 iPhone price leaks and rumors as we hear them. iPhone 12 series that we're relatively confident will be similar. That's especially true as the number 13 is seen as an unlucky number in parts of the world, including the US. So it may be Apple wants to skip this numeral when it comes time for a new iPhone, with rumors suggesting we'll see a relatively similar design to the iPhone 12. It may be that the company is readying an iPhone 12's family for 2021 This is common practice for Apple where it introduces an S-series the year after a big upgrade. That may mean everything we talk about here is actually called the iPhone 12s and iPhone 12s Pro when these handsets hit shop shelves later in 2021. You may think with the iPhone 13 release date so far in the distance. Those are likely to be, but this isn't guaranteed. The iPhone 13 mini, iPhone 13, iPhone 13 Pro, and iPhone 13 Pro Max the company focused on three models until 2020 when it introduced the mini model as the fourth handset in the iPhone 12 family. Most rumors suggest that'll continue in 2021. If any model gets dropped it would probably be the mini, as the iPhone 12 mini reportedly hasn't sold well, but rumors suggest Apple will still make an iPhone 13 mini though perhaps in place of an iPhone SE 3 we're expecting similar designs to the iPhone 12 family, and the screen technology is likely to be similar as well because the company made big upgrades to that element of the iPhone 12. One thing rumored for the iPhone 12 that didn't come to fruition was the addition of a high refresh rate display rumors suggest that may be introduced on the iPhone 13, and that'll make the display look smoother when playing games or scrolling through your social media feed. Technology may also work in a similar way to what we've seen on the company's iPad Pro lineup where it is able to vary the refresh rate depending on what activity you're doing on your phone. Another rumor backed up 120Hz refresh rate rumors, but suggested such a display might only be on two of the four anticipated iPhone 13 models. Maybe this means the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max will have 120Hz screens while the iPhone 13 and iPhone 13 mini, or whatever they end up getting called, won't the source of that claim, Korean site the LA, has since reiterated it adding that industry sources say the top two models will get a 120Hz screen that site has also now added more details, claiming that Samsung will be the sole supplier of these 120Hz panels another upgrade the screen might get is the addition of an always-on display, with a reliable leaker saying this could be in the works. Android phones have offered this for years, so it's about time Apple got on board. The topic of the notch has been under scrutiny as well with some sources claiming that it'll remain the same size as the iPhone 12 and others believing it's more likely to shrink in 2021 what will happen here is particularly unclear right now, the more sources point to it shrinking than staying the same size, 
Though we've heard a rumor that Apple has at least one iPhone 13 prototype that does away with the notch entirely and makes the bezels around each side slightly thicker to compensate could 2020 have been the last year of the iPhone notch. Another leak has also suggested the company may finally be ready to introduce an under-display fingerprint scanner. A lot of Android manufacturers include this technology on flagship phones, and this leak suggests Apple is ready to follow suit, in fact there's a chance it will have an even higher refresh rate, as an Apple patent talks about a phone with multiple refresh rates, possibly topping out at 240Hz which is a rate no mainstream phone currently offers, but patents often don't develop into features. So we take this with a pinch of salt another upgrade the screen might get is the addition of an always on display with a reliable leaker saying this could be in the works. Android phones have offered this for years, so it's about time Apple got on board the topic of the notch has been under scrutiny as well with some sources claiming that it'll remain the same size as the iPhone 12 and others believe it's more likely to shrink in 2021. What will happen here is particularly unclear right now, the more sources point to it shrinking than staying the same size. Though we've heard a rumor that Apple has at least one iPhone 13 prototype that does away with the notch entirely and makes the bezels around each side slightly thicker to compensate, could 2020 have been the last year of the iPhone notch another leak has also suggested the company may finally be ready to introduce an under-display fingerprint scanner. A lot of Android manufacturers include this technology on flagship phones, and this leak suggests Apple is ready to follow suit, in fact, we've now heard talk of an in-screen scanner multiple times with Apple apparently considering it in addition. To face ID leaker John Prosser, has also suggested that 2021 may be when we see the introduction of 1TB iPhones, that's a storage size the company hasn't experimented with yet, at least for its smartphones, and we'd expect it to be an option on the phone's most expensive pro handsets if Prosser's information is correct. That may well make for the most expensive iPhone ever, as that's a lot of storage on one handset as for the camera, industry analyst Ming-Chi Kuo who is often right about Apple. Information has suggested the iPhone 13's ultra-wide camera may be bumped to AF-1.8, 6-element lens from the current F-2.4, 5-element lens on the Pro and Pro Max. Qua has since followed this up with a note suggesting that Sunny Optical looks to be in a position to supply this lens, which he now says might go up to 7 elements having a company with the capability to build it means it's more likely to happen we've also heard the same change in aperture from analysts at Barclays though. They claim this upgrade will come to all 4 iPhone 13 models. This should allow for better low light performance though potentially also a shallower depth of field which can be less desirable in the landscape shots ultra-wide cameras typically excel at the Barclays analyst note also mentioned that the iPhone 13 Pro could get the same telephoto snapper as the iPhone 12 Pro Max if you want to make the most of your device you'll likely find it will clog up after a few years of usage. We'd like to see Apple introduce 128GB as the minimum device size in 2021, and hopefully, bring the price of the larger storage variants down to a more affordable level rumored for the iPhone 12. A high refresh rate display will be another solid screen upgrade that we'd love to see included on the iPhone to keep it competitive with other smartphones on the market it's the sort of upgrade you don't know you want until you've used a phone with the technology included, but it's something that would make a noticeable difference to the iPhone experience well. Have been said what features would like to see on the upcoming iPhone 13 model let me see your comment below, if you are new here please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one peace out.